Welcome to a lesson on proof by counterexample. It is almost never okay to prove a statement with just an example. None of the proofs so far will be valid by using examples. This is because in each of those cases, we needed to prove that something was true for all integers. For example, earlier we proved that n squared being even implies that n is even no matter what integer n we select. This cannot be stressed enough. If we are trying to prove a statement of the form for every x, p of x is true, we absolutely cannot prove this with an example. However, existential statements can be proven in this way, meaning a statement in the form there exists an x such that p of x is true. If we want to prove that there is an integer n such that n squared minus n plus 41 is not prime, all we need to do is find one that is prime. This might seem meaningless to prove until we try a few values of n. Looking at the table, notice for the values of n from one through seven, n squared minus n plus 41 result in a prime. Because we've only gotten prime so far, we might be tempted to conjecture for all positive integers n, the number n squared minus n plus 41 is prime. If we wanted to prove this, we would need to use direct proof, a proof by contrapositive, or another style of proof. But certainly it is not enough to give even seven examples. In fact, we can prove this conjecture is false by proving its negation. The negation of for all positive integers n, the number n squared minus n plus 41 is prime is the statement there is a positive integer n such that n squared minus n plus 41 is not prime. Since this is an existential statement, it suffices to show that there does indeed exist such a number. Now I do want to mention we need to be careful when negating statements involving quantifiers. Looking at the notes in the upper right hand corner, the negation of for every x p of x is true is logically equivalent to there exists an x such that the negation of p of x is true. Notice the negation passes across the quantifier, which changes the quantifier type, and then we negate p of x. And now going back to our problem, notice when n is equal to 41, n squared minus n plus 41 is equal to 41 squared, which is certainly not prime. Remember, a prime number only has two factors, one in itself. We might say this is a counterexample to the conjecture that n squared minus n plus 41 is always prime. Since so many statements in mathematics are universal, making their negations existential, we can often prove that a statement is false, if it is, by providing a counterexample. And now let's formalize this idea in a proof. Let's prove that for all integers n, n squared minus n plus 41 is prime is a false statement. We can prove this statement is false by proving the negation of this statement is true using a proof by counterexample. Notice the given statement is in the form of for every x, p of x is true, which we know is false, which means the negation of for every x, p of x is true, must be true. And the negation of for every x, p of x is true is logically equivalent to there exists an x such that the negation of p of x is true. Again, the negation passes across the quantifier, changing the quantifier type, and then we negate p of x. To begin our proof, let p be the statement for all integers n, n squared minus n plus 41 is prime. This is the original statement. It follows the negation of this statement is there exists an integer n such that n squared minus n plus 41 is not prime. When we negated the original statement, notice for all integers n changed to there exists an integer n, and then we negated the statement n squared minus n plus 41 is prime, which became n squared minus n plus 41 is not prime. From here, notice the negation is an existential statement. We now look for a counterexample. Consider the integer n equals 41. When n is equal to 41, n squared minus n plus 41 is equal to 41 squared. n squared minus n plus 41 is not prime when n equals 41, which proves the negation is true. n is the counterexample to the original statement. The statement for all integers n, n squared minus n plus 14 is prime, is false. I hope you found this helpful.